Hello everyone, Oscar Hotel 8 Golf Echo Juliet here from MAM Portable and QRP. Today we're working with Whisper Mode. We're doing a 10 meter test with FT817 and a dipole antenna. We are testing 5 watts, 2.5 watts, 1 watt and a half watt to check the directivity and coverage of a dipole antenna mounted horizontally. The software we're using today is Whisper Beacon for Android. I'll be doing a little bit of movie magic to speed things up. With that said, let's get started. Configuration is as normal. We'll start with 0.5 watts, then move to 1 watt, 2.5 watts, and ultimately finish up with 5 watts. So let's check the results from the 0.5 watt test. 1,870 kilometers, that's not bad at all. The dipole is mounted horizontally and it's beaming around uh, 227 degrees. There's nothing to complain about there, especially with a half watt. We'll check later if other uh, spots come in. We'll change the setting to one watt and start again. Now we can actually see we had st two stations come in at uh, half watt, uh, and now we have two stations coming in at one watt. So again, that's very interesting. Now with one watt, we were able to increase the uh, the range. Oh, I have to admit the Bulgarian station there is really weird. Uh, that's on the side of the dipole, so I really shouldn't be getting any. Uh, I really shouldn't be getting any signals from that direction, but uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's really strange. Anyway, with one watt, we've increased uh, increased range a bit, and uh, it again looks pretty well. But let's reserve any judgment for uh, till the end of the entire test. Let's move on. And please take note that the Yezu FT817 is 2.5 watts, not 2 watts. But there's no 2.5 watt setting in this software, so we had to improvise. Alright, here we go. Outstanding. It looks like we got a few more stations. It seems Bulgaria is still at the top of the list with only one watt. But if you consider the G4 station with a half watt that's shown up now, that's even more astonishing. Let's jump right into the five watt test so we can see the final results. Well, we got a few more stations with 5 watts. But somewhat surprisingly, Bulgaria is still at the top of the list. Testing the dipole on 10 meters with Whisper was incredibly helpful. As I mentioned earlier, the dipole is positioned horizontally and it's beaming an azimuth of uh, around 225 to 230 degrees. So as you can see on the plot on the map, the point of the dipole and its positioning was to give me as much of the European Union as possible. What certainly looks like it's safe to say I can build myself a multi-band dipole antenna for working European Union countries.
I think it's going to be something like 80 through 10 meters. And I'll position it between the tower and the trees, just like the, uh, the dipole up now is. All right, everyone, that brings us to the end of the video. Thumbs up, please, and share if you can. Also, feel welcome to leave comments and feedback about the plot and the test. And if you have a moment, take a look at our other channel, Survival Tech Nord. With that, I wish you 73 and good DX. Rock and roll. Ciao.